The incident happened here in downtown Palo Alto off University Avenue. Police say so far they haven't been able to obtain surveillance video of the attack, so they're hoping the public can help them find the suspect. Palo Alto police say the attack happened last Thursday around 5.30 in the evening when a black cyclist briefly veered into the street near University and Webster to avoid a car that was trying to park. The cyclist told officers that's when a man driving a pickup truck got very angry and things quickly escalated. Uh, ultimately, the driver in the course of that argument uh, spat on the victim. He actually tried to reach out the window and grab the victim, and then he used a racial epithet in referring to him uh, before ultimately using his car to knock the victim physically off his bike. The victim told police the truck then drove over his bike and took off. The cyclist suffered minor injuries to his legs. Martha Reed says she walks in this area all the time and is stunned to learn of the hit and run. I'm surprised, but I do hope they find out who it was and prosecute him to the fullest. Coloma Smith, the chair of the Palo Alto Human Relations Commission, says he's not surprised. He says hate crimes have been on the rise since the start of the pandemic. What makes this um, this incident very troubling and problematic for me is that it happened in broad daylight. It happened on a main street, and the person uh, was bold enough to hit someone with a car and use um, the N-word. Smith says he met with police to talk about the attack, and his commission is taking steps to reduce all hate crimes in Palo Alto. We've created more hotlines and more ways for people to report hate crimes. He says the commission is also working with the district attorney's office and the FBI to increase community education on the problem. In the meantime, police are on the hunt for the suspect, described as a blonde white man in his 30s, wearing a construction vest and driving a silver Toyota truck. In Palo Alto, Marianne Favreau, NBC Bay Area News.